Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Tracks the Train Set Game. And uh, by the time I'm uploading this, I think it will be Christmas Day. So we have a new Christmas-themed map here, or room. It's very compact, very small, but I figured it might be fun to try to make this train play Carol of the Bells using the musical bells in the game here. So we can put the musical bells down, we can uh, select our note, and the train will play it as it drives by. Now before we get into that, I do want to announce I do have a free key to give away of this game. So just check the links in the description if you're interested in getting a chance to win a free copy of this game. Just follow the link and that'll tell you what to do. Now there are going to be some challenges with making this song here because we have such limited space uh, to keep our train inside this kind of bedroom scenery we're gonna have to have some twists and turns we're gonna have to have our track go up and down and that tends to change the speed of the train quite a bit and so that means that our tempo of the song the speed of the song might change up and down a little bit here and there but uh we'll see what we can do so i figured let's get uh let's start off with the first couple notes and just see what kind of sound we're gonna get right off the bat it is really dark up here by the way Maybe we should have it wrap around the tree a little bit a few times too. So I have the train starting on the door here. We're gonna go onto these shelves, and I'm, I'm hoping, but I don't know what the I don't know what the speed's gonna be like. I'm hoping I can have each one of these shelves be like the three jingle bells notes, like jingle bells, jingle bells, and then this starts jingle all the way, and we can go around the Christmas tree, like go all the way around the Christmas tree. So it kind of fits with the what the lyrics are supposed to be. All right, well, let's get this thing started. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I had to put some lights down because it's really, really dark up here in particular, but you can see we got uh, our sets of bells here. Uh, this one is floating because when it's on the ground for some reason, this ramp makes the train kind of go over it. So we have to have that one floating in order to trigger it. And uh, same thing over here. But I think we've got the first pretty much sequence down. So I'll show you what we're on track for right now. We're going to hop into our train. Right now I have this gauge so that we go up to about half power and then this is the speed that we're going to be driving the train at and this is what it sounds like. So you can hear we are picking up speed as we go downhill which makes sense so then the tempo is also kind of picking up speed which um, I think it sounds okay with the Jingle Bells theme. Anyway we're about to go dashing dashing through the snow so uh, we should probably pick be picking up speed anyway. All right, so now I got to figure out like right around here, I think is where it's going to start. Um, I don't wait if this curves are oh, okay. That actually curves like right around the tree. All right, this will be interesting. This is going to be really interesting to try to figure out how to time, but I'm going to try to like spiral down the tree a bit, which actually looks a little bit harder than perhaps I anticipated, but we'll figure it out. This is going to be, this is going to be a tempo nightmare. So I'm going to try to spiral down the tree and then onto the table, I guess. Is this getting us onto the table? It is. Okay, there we go. Yeah, then we can go around the bowl of fruit. There we are, and I don't know what we're going to do from here, but we'll figure it out. Let's just see how far the song gets us by the time we get there. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're running into a bit of an issue. I seem to have broken the game in some way in which most of the time the train gets derailed like but it still follows the track just offset from the track so let's see if it happens this time we go about half speed i even tried like extending the starting point but watch what happens watch what happens see yep yeah look we're going off the track into the bells and now we're completely off the track there's the track to our left hand side but it still follows it for some reason and you can see that i've uh i've gotten up to like the first the first loop of the song. And now we're still following the track, but we're just completely off to the side for some reason. And I don't, oh, it looks like just our left wheel is on the right side of the track. And I don't know why that is, but sometimes that doesn't always happen. Like sometimes it actually goes on the right spot. And the frustrating thing is it actually changes the timing. So depending on whether or not it gets off track, uh, it changes the overall timing of the song. So. I can't figure it. Yep, there it goes. That turn, for some reason, ruins it. We're going really fast right now. So I got to figure out a way. Uh, is, maybe I could just have the train start somewhere else completely and try to get it on track here. 
But I figured I'd just update you guys to let you know uh, just a, a, an issue that I'm running into and trying to troubleshoot right now as I try to m make this song. So maybe if we have a turn beforehand, just coming from the outside here. There we go. And I'm actually going to make a platform out of just a plain Whoa. A plain block here. And then we'll have some lamps marking the starting area too. So let's go ahead and set the start point right there. And reset the train. And now let's do a quick test. See if we can stay on track now through these turns. All right. So we will also go up to half speed still. All right. Please stay on track. Oh, that's not at all staying on track. Let's try this again. I don't know. Like, you can see the, the train looks perfect. Like, the train looks perfectly in line right here. Like, those wheels are definitely where they're supposed to be. So let's start driving. Okay. And then we fall off. Maybe reloading the map will work. I'm going to go ahead and save and reload. All right, so I've just re- I've closed the game down completely and reloaded it. So let's see if this is any better. <laughs> Why does this always happen to us? Why do we always find a way to break a game just by trying to use it the way- I mean, we're trying to use it the way it's supposed to be used. All right, so we're going to try something different here. We're just going to have it start straight along here and hope that maybe this will- fix everything rather than having to take that turn because that turn was the problem spot before but I don't know what we've done to this world here all right let's see what happens I don't, I don't have my gingerbread train right now unfortunately we'll change it after we test this first though please work all right we're going straight okay here's the first turn all right all right things are good the timing's a little bit off now that we're actually Keeping in line. Are we going to stay in line the whole time, though? This is looking promising so far. All right, this is looking more promising. Oh, and we slow down a lot on the flat area. All right, this is going to be interesting tempo-wise, but uh, I think we're back on a working track. So right now we just got to fix some of the trouble issues. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think I have the whole first part up until, like, the dashing through the snow part. So let's see how this goes. There's some, like... There's some parts that were troubled with the tempo, as you'll see, uh, especially in this part right here as we get faster. But here we go. All right, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. The last section's a little bit rocky, and it's mostly because we start going downhill a lot more often, which we pick up speed a lot more often. So then it starts to just it starts to just get a little bit faster and then we flatten out here which means it starts to get a little bit slower but there's really not a whole lot i can do to just keep the train at a constant tempo but now we have the issue of we're running back into ourselves so i'm not sure what we're going to do about this right now we could just turn we could turn towards the bed actually we don't need to go in this direction let's turn towards the bed and we can go dashing through the bed so i'm going to create a new start point right here and I'm hope, hoping this isn't going to mess everything up with, as far as staying on track goes. But this way, I'll be able to just uh, test out my, whatever, what do you call it? Test out my song rather than having to play the whole thing o over all over again. We'll be able to start from here. And then, yeah. And then dashing through this. No, okay. So I'm going to start this portion after the turn. And I'm going to hope that that's a decent amount of time, depending on what speed I'm at. But either way, we'll just stick with it. And however it turns out, it's going to turn out. All right, here's the current update. I think I finished the first half of the second half, if that makes sense. So we're going to try to get up to half speed here. And here we go. All right, so now we're just going to repeat that kind of one more time, and then we're back to the beginning. Uh, it would have been nice if I could have timed it so that it loops around all the way back up there, but I don't think that's going to happen. So we're just going to make use of the rest of the area that we haven't really used yet. Oh, we're underneath the Christmas tree. This is a really nice looking Christmas tree. Look at that. Up close, this thing looks really nice. All right, well, let's get to uh, composing.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to what I believe is basically the final product. And I even found a solution to make this thing loop around and around so it'll keep playing it all the way through. Now, there is uh, there is a little bit of like some time gaps when it comes to looping around, because what I did as a solution was uh, the end of the song happens around here. So I forgot until now about these tunnels. You can actually teleport anywhere you want with the tunnels. So it's kind of like we're going to be riding into the tree and then we're going to teleport right up back at the beginning of the song and then work our way back around the Christmas tree, down across the table, uh, into the bunk bed, and then right back down. So the only thing about this is we're kind of starting like right at the tunnel here because uh, this is, I don't know how we're going to pick up speed through the tunnel, but we're going to probably start off slow, then slowly, gra slowly and gradually pick up speed as we go along down to the table here. But uh, I'm going to shut up now and we're going to ride the train. Oh, I forgot to change it back to a gingerbread train. Hold on a sec. How do we do this? All right, much better. Okay, so I'm going to uh, open up the throttle here and we're going to hear uh, the tracks version of Jingle Bells. Let's do it. And we are back at the repeat. Let's go ahead and change some camera angles here. So yeah, this actually, it, it was harder than I expected it was gonna be considering all of the like turns and the speed changes and stuff. But overall it ended up, despite those difficulties uh, that we had to face, I think that it actually came out pretty darn well. Especially with these kind of turns and stuff where I had to use different sides of the track in order to uh, keep the tempo the same. So yeah, I thought it turned out pretty well. Let me know what you guys think. And uh, if, you, if you're not aware, I actually did a Carol of the Bells version of this in the middle of summer. So I'll leave a link to that video if you want to see Carol of the Bells played by a toy wooden train. And uh, that one was pretty cool too. That was before they had the whole winter Christmas tree update anyway. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it earned your subscription. This has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.